So before trying the program, we want to modify and fix some things. So before recording the video, I tried the program and there was small issues. So first of all, let's go over here. And whenever we want to fill a student, we want to print something like this. So we want to know that we want to enter the ID, the registration year, and the specialty. And whenever we fill a student, we want to get to a new line. And the second thing we want to modify is in this function. So the fill grade, we want to print also something like this. So enter course name and grade. And whenever we want to read the grade, I forgot to put this address. Okay? So this will lead our program to crash. So fix it. And also after filling a grade, let's get to a new line. Perfect. Let's go to our main function, build a program, open the logs, and we have zero errors and zero warnings. So as you already know, this program is basically an array of students and we want to manage the grades of these students. So we want to make an array of students, so I included student.h. So we want an array of type students, let's call it like this, and let's say it has three students, okay? Now we want to fill this array. So fill students, give it the name of the array and the size. Perfect. Build the program up until this point, so we'll try it step by step, open the logs, zero errors, zero warnings. Okay, so suppose we fill the array, and now let's print some values. So for int i equals zero, i is less than three, i plus plus. So inside this loop, we will make sure that our values are being filled properly. Okay, so print f, something like this. Let's print the ID of the student, then the specialty of the student, and get to a new line after we print each student. So we want to access the elements of our array. So stds sub i dot id is our id, and students sub i dot specialty is our specialty. Perfect. Let's try the program. So build and run. As you see, id, registration year, and specialty. So I'm going to fill some values, and I'll be back in order not to waste time. So up until this point, I entered a student that has this ID, this registration year, and this type, or specialty. Now, over here, I'm filling the grades of this student. So the first course is Mathematics 1, he got 100. Then Mathematics 2, he got 200. Then Mathematics 3, he got 90. Okay, now I'm filling the second student. So this student over here has ID 2, and this year, 2000, and he has the same specialty, A. Now he has three grades, math one, math two, math three, 80, 70, 200. Okay, now the third student. Now this student has the ID three this year and this specialty. He has three courses, 70, 20, 300. So now this fill student has finished and everything as you can see is working. Now we are printing the values. So this is the ID of the first student. This is correct. And the specialty A, perfect, two A, very good, and the three B, perfect. So now we are sure that fill students is working. Now, we don't want to waste time on filling the student every time. So let's initialize this array, okay? So this took a lot of time, but anyways, here is our array, it has five students, and we are initializing each one. So first of all, we are initializing the ID, then the year, so it is a string, then the specialty, and now we are initializing the first grade which is a structure. So I'm setting it equal and I'm initializing it. So it has a name and it has a grade, right? So a string and a double. Now the same thing for the second grade and the same thing for the third grade. And I repeated this for all the students. Now let's change the IDs. So three, four, five. Okay, build a program. We have one warning that there is an unused variable STDS and we don't care, okay? So perfect. Now, let's try our functions. For example, let's get the best student in some specialty. So let's call best student, and it takes our array, so stds, it takes the number of elements, so five, and it takes the specialty. So let's say we want in specialty A. So let's have a look. This over here is of specialty A, and this one, and this one. Now, this function should print the ID of the student that has the highest grade, and also print the highest grade. So let's see, this is 100, this is 200, and this is 90. Now over here, this is 150, this is 200, and this is 300. Now over here, this is 100, 180, and 400. So, as you can see, the highest grade between these students is 400, and the ID is 5. So we should see 5 and 400. Build and run. Perfect, we have 5 and 400. Now let's fix this. Go over here. 
scroll down a little bit so over here let's print 0.2 go and now whenever I build and run the program again we have 5 and this beautiful output perfect so now let's try with the specialty B we have this student and this student and let's see 101 140 212 100 and 270 150 so the highest number is 270 so we should see 4 and 270 build and run perfect 4 270 so the best student function is working let's comment it and let's see what do we have more so these two are working the best grade is working because the best student is working we are using this function inside this one now let's try this specialty number function in the main we want to print f percent d so specialty number and it takes the array so first of all stds the number of students five and now we want to see how many specialty a we have run the program and as you can see we have three this is correct now let's see specialty b build and run we have two now let's try for example specialty c we don't have any so build and run we can see zero perfect so this is working now let's try this function the set average and before we do that let's do something let's take this set average and go to student.c so over here we are filling the grades of the student right so let's do this after filling the grades let's call this function okay and let's give it the student so as we know this function takes a pointer to a student so student star s and this function over here also takes student star s so this s over here is a pointer so what we should give this function is s because s contains the address now what are we doing when we fill the grade of our student we will send him to this function where we will set his average member to be equal to the average of his grades okay later on we're going to try this but now let's stick to what we are doing in the main so now for example we want to use the set average function so set average function it takes a student star s so i'm going to give it the first student so the address of the first student is the name of the array now let's print f a double and this double is the first student i'm going to dereference the pointer and print the variable average okay so as we know the name of the array points to the first student and since this is a pointer to a structure i'm dereferencing it in this way with no problems now let's build the program so zero errors zero warnings now let's build and run the program as you can see we have 130 so let's just check print f percent lf and i want to print 100 plus 200 plus 90 so i am adding the grades of my student right then the answer will be divided by 3.0 so in order to get a double answer okay now build and run the program we have 130 and 130 so our program is working now let's try this with another student so for example let's give the second student so we give the address over here and now look at this we can do this so we can stds sub 1 dot average and this will print the average let me comment this build and run as you can see the average of the second student is 117 let's check so we have 101 plus 100 plus 150 build and run the program and you have the same thing 117 117 now i'm going to do the same thing but using a pointer so give me the address of the first element and i will add one to this address then i will dereference it so build and run the program and we have the same thing now you might be asking how i was able to add one to the name of the array shouldn't we think about this as a constant pointer that cannot be changed yes you should we are not actually modifying this pointer we are just adding one to the value so we are taking the value of this pointer and then adding one to it so we are getting a new value it is different than std plus plus std plus plus would try to modify this variable so if i try to build and run as you can see we've got an error but if we try to make stds plus one this is perfectly fine this will calculate a new value which points to the next element in the array now don't worry we will talk about this again later but i wanted to show you so perfect our function set average is working now what's more let's have a look done 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 
done, done, and done. So everything is done. Everything is working perfectly. Now let's fill our students. So fill students. So give it the array. And let's suppose we only have two students in order not to waste time. And let's make a function to print a student. Void print student like this. It takes a student s and it's printed. And also let's make a function print students which take an array. So student array like this and it takes the size and it prints our students. So copy these prototypes, go to our student.c and let's implement these functions. So the first one would be something like this, printf, percent %d for the id, percent %s for the year, percent %c for the specialty, and I want to print the average. So percent %lf, okay? So the first thing is s.id, the second thing s.register year, then s.specialty, and then as dot average, right? Now in this function over here, iterate over the elements of the array into i equals zero, i is less than n, and i plus plus, and each time call this function and pass array sub i. So print student and we want to give it array sub i. And let's after printing each student get to a new line. And by the way, this is pass by copy. We don't care about pass by reference over here. We are just printing. Okay, let's go to our main function. And after we fill the students, let's print them. So print students, take this array, and the size is 2. So as you can see, we have 5 students actually, but I'm using only 2 elements of this array. So the rest of the elements, I don't care about them. Okay? And now even if we have values over here, these values will be overwritten when we run this function. Build a program, open the logs, everything is perfect, build and run the program. So. 1 2000 a okay course name let's say math 1 he got 100 then math 2 he got 50 and math 3 he got 30. now whenever we filled these grades we came over here and we called the set average function and we gave it the address of the student so our member average should be set to the average of the grades so let's go back now we are filling the second student so 2 now let's say his type is b the same thing, math 1, he got 50, math 2, he got 30, and math 3, he got 10. Now, we are printing the students. As you can see, 1, 2000, A, and the average is 60. So, 100 plus 50 plus 30 is 180. Divided by 3 gives us 60. So, this is correct. Now, 2, this is the year, this is the specialty, and this is the average. So, 50 plus 30 plus 10. This gives us 90. 90 divided by 3 is equal to 30. Perfect. So our program is working perfectly. So congratulations for making it this far. You are doing very well. And I'll see you in the next video.